The Ravenclaw Common Room, Hogwarts Legacy, every explorable location, confirmed so far. The deserted Ravenclaw Common Room was a wide, circular room, airier than any Harry had ever seen at Hogwarts. Graceful arched windows punctuated the walls, which were hung with blue and bronze silks. By day, the Ravenclaws would have a spectacular view of the surrounding mountains. The ceiling was domed and painted with stars, which were echoed in the midnight blue carpet. There were tables, chairs, and bookcases, and in a niche opposite the door stood a tall statue of white marble. The Ravenclaw Common Room was a common room for Ravenclaw House located in Ravenclaw Tower. In general, it sported several shades of blue with bronze, all associated with the house. It was also the eeriest of the four common rooms. The entrance to the common room was located on the west side of Hogwarts at the top of a spiral staircase that started on the fifth floor, and was a door without a doorknob or keyhole, but a bronze knocker in the shape of an eagle. In order to enter the room, a person must answer a riddle asked by the eagle knocker. If they answered incorrectly, they had to wait for someone else who got it right. The Ravenclaw Common Room was one of the airiest rooms at Hogwarts. It was a wide, circular room with graceful arched windows that punctuated the walls which were hung with blue and bronze silks and a midnight blue carpet covered in stars, which was reflected onto the domed ceiling. The room was furnished with blue tables, chairs, and a divan. Next to the door, leading up to the dormitories, stood a tall statue of Rowena Ravenclaw made of white marble. According to Prefect Robert Hilliard, the sound of wind whistling around the windows of the tower was relaxing while going to sleep. Portraits of famous Ravenclaws hung on the walls. The Ravenclaws also had their own library within the common room, which was nowhere as big as the main library, but had almost as many books. The personal library was located in a niche. During the day, Ravenclaw students had a spectacular view of the school grounds, including the Great Lake, Forbidden Forest, Quidditch Pitch, Herbology Greenhouses, and the surrounding mountains. Ravenclaw was one of the four houses of Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. Its founder was the medieval witch Rowena Ravenclaw. Members of this house were characterized by their wit, learning, and wisdom. The emblematic animal symbol was an eagle, and blue and bronze were its colors. The head of Ravenclaw was Phileas Flitwick, and the house ghost was the Grey Lady, real name Helena Ravenclaw, daughter of Rowena. Ravenclaw corresponded roughly to the element of air, and it was for that reason that the house colors were chosen. Blue and bronze represented the sky and eagle feathers respectively, both having much to do with air. The Ravenclaw Point's hourglass contained blue sapphires. In the books, Ravenclaw colors are blue and bronze, however, in the films they were changed to blue and silver. Likewise, Ravenclaw's symbol is an eagle in the books and a raven in the films, though in the last film, an eagle does appear as the Ravenclaw mascot. Eagles are a symbol for a broader vision and strength of mind and heart. Gilderoy Lockhart was a Ravenclaw. This can be seen on his Quidditch robes from a picture of his past while at Hogwarts, and was later confirmed by J. K. Rowling on Pottermore. The Ravenclaw common room does not appear in Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows, Part 2, but it is still possible to glimpse the stairwell inside the tower. The common room's door can also be glimpsed. This is the same for Lego Harry Potter, years 5 to 7. Ravenclaw is the only house from which no head boy or girl have been named. No Ravenclaw student sortings are shown in the film adaptation of Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone.